Hello and welcome. My name is Jess. Um, this is a new channel that I'm creating. I'm definitely not new to the YouTube scene. I do have a beauty channel that I post my beauty, that I post beauty reviews and tutorials on. I also have a vlog channel that I like never use, so I kind of am like, why am I making a new channel? This channel is dedicated to my journey. Um, now this channel is dedicated to my total money makeover. Yes, so background. I recently read Dave Ramsey's two books, Financial Peace and then The Total Money Makeover. And I got really, really inspired to follow his Total Money Makeover. And so I started watching channels that also are about Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover. I started watching, um, I just recently binged watched the last like two days. Um, they're called Gazelle Intense. Um, I also watched Dead is Dumb. I recently, today, started watching uh, Budget Girl. And I was really inspired to make a channel showing my journey as well. Um, now, I am, I am 25 years old. I'm in my last semester of college. Um, I am, I'm majoring in education. I have only my student teaching left this coming semester. And then in January, after my placement is done, I am done. I am in the real adult world. And, and since in just a few months time, I'm going to be in, in the adult world, I really wanted to make every attempt I could to put myself in a good financial situation when I am done with my schooling. Um, I have... Now this is not the easy part to admit and I feel kind of even weird talking about this and putting it on the internet because not even like some of my fi my family doesn't even know how bad this is. I have some credit card debt. Um, I have about $4,000 worth of credit card debt which is not a lot because you know I hear of people who have gosh you know tens of thousands of credit card debt. Um, and so I really don't have a lot. Uh, the amount of time I have amassed it is about four years, I think. Um, I got my first one in junior college, and that one I really didn't touch that much, um, but it was kind of a way to make my money stretch through the month if I ran out of gas money before, you know, the month was up. What did I do? I reached for my credit card, and then slowly that kind of happened. Um, and then I also, <laughs> and then the Victoria's Secret card was not my friend when I signed up for that. I recently transferred that to a Discover card. I transfer, I did a balance transfer th for that because I was offered 0% interest if I got it paid off in a year. Well, it's been, it's been a month, I think, since I did that, maybe a month or two. Um, I haven't made any leeway on that card. I've actually been charging a little bit to that card as well just be because I did end up charging to that card because, well, <laughs> the money was gone before the month was up. So I've definitely dug myself into a hole. And, you know, I have this $4,000 of credit card debt. I owe about four, I owe about 6000 on my uh, car. Empty always says that car loans are evil and I get that now. Um, so I have that. That's about $10,000 in debt. This is not including the student loans that I have taken out for school. Um, I have totaled it out. This is including what I'm taking out for this semester, the $6,000 I'm taking out this semester. I will owe $46,000 in, um, in student loans I have. I do have a private loan that's $1,500. The rest are all, the rest are all federal loans. And, and I know in June, in 2017 I'm gonna be paying about three to four hundred dollars on just on my student loans and on top of that with like the about two hundred dollars I'm paying on my credit cards each month you know and my car payment which is like 240 that is a lot of debt to be paying every month and I'm gonna be teaching I'm a te and I'm gonna be a teacher teachers do not make any money I think the school district I'm looking at, which is in my hometown, they pay about like $25,000 a year for a teacher. That's below poverty line. That's like making $1,800 a month. And that's crazy. And I just am feeling the crunch. 
I'm just feeling crunch time like Jess you need to get your finances together before you are officially an adult and I realize I've been adulting for a long time because you know I'm 25 years old and I'm obviously I've been adulting just a little bit you know I do not live at home at the current time I'm renting an apartment that I pay for I pay for my half of the rent with my student loans and I pay my bills with my student loans and I realize Soon I'm not going to have those to fall back on and it's time to get serious. So the f so I've started putting together a budget. I'm going to be doing the envelope system. I've just made a plan of attack and I wanted to share this journey with you. So that is kind of my debt story um, in a nutshell. I could go deeper into it in a later video if that would be something you're interested in. I also thought that this channel might be helpful to some people. You know, I see a lot of channels dedicated to finances and debt management. And, I've, you know, just in my research this week alone, I've seen so many channels. But a lot of those channels are people who make a lot of money or I consider a lot of money. They're averaging, like, they have two people in a household and they're averaging, you know, $60,000 a year. And it's like two people working on paying off their debt and getting their finances together. I haven't seen a finance channel. I haven't seen any videos dedicated to like, you know, somebody my age who's don't have a lot to do, that don't have a lot of debt, but they also don't make a lot of money. And I think this could be helpful to another person who's probably in my shoes. So this is my introduction to my channel. Tomorrow is going to be July 1st. I'm officially kicking off my total money makeover. I'm going to be uploading my July budget and showing you what I'm working with for the month. I'm, I'm going to be as transparent as possible with my budget. I will show you my income. I will show you where the money is going. Um, I will show you basically everything I can. Um, and because I feel like that's really helpful. Some people are not transparent. They just show their budget, but they don't include their income or the numbers in their budget. And I feel like that's not very helpful. So I know for me, I needed to see the actual numbers. I needed to know concrete what I was supposed to be doing. I couldn't have hypothetical situations. My whole family, my whole family does not budget. I mean, my grandparents kind of do. They write out their expenses they write out like their bills each month and they like do kind of a calendar system like they mark off when their bills are coming out and when they've paid them. Um, my parents, neither of them budget. My parents divorced when I was three. Um, and a little backstory, I guess, I was raised on welfare. Um, I lived with my mother and we were always on housing, we were always on food stamps, my mother is on disability, my father is on disability. Um, I draw off of both of them because I'm still in school. I don't know if I kind of run out of that when I turn 26 this October or if it's going to carry over until I graduate. Um, so that little bit very helps me a lot because I cannot work when I'm, because I can't work when I'm in school so that little bit helps out just because um, now, when I was in my junior year, yeah, so when I was in my junior year of college, I was working part-time as well as taking, you know, full course load. I was taking like 17 credits each semester, and I was still working part-time, and that was doable. However, this last year, in my senior year, um, I reached the point in my program where I was having to put in, um, internships. Like I had two internships this past year. I had one in the fall semester where I was in the schools from 8 to 11 each day and then I would go to class from noon to 4 and then in the evenings I would do all my schoolwork, my activities. I would have other obligations for my program. I would have to go to like, I would have to go do homework help sessions with um, students and like just I had so many hours to meet and then in the spring semester I had and then the spring semester I was doing my preschool student teaching so I was um, so I had to be at the preschool every day from 7:30 to noon and then go to class noon to 4 and then again I had other obligations in the evening so I could not work at all during my senior year and they pretty much tell you 
and they pretty much tell my program that they say you've got so much going on this is your job now you do not have time to work and the way I prepared myself for that was I took out extra student loans to get me through and then I relied on the um, I, then I relied on the money I draw off my parents disability and I also am not proud of this but this year I actually had to apply for food stamps because it was just not enough and I was trying to I would always make sure my bills were paid like my credit cards got paid my cell phone got paid my rent got paid like everything got paid but I couldn't necessarily eat and so I was thankful that I had just a small meal plan that I could go to campus every now and then and eat for but more often than not I was foregoing dinner and foregoing lunch sometimes because I just could not afford food so this past year I did apply for food stamps I get a very little amount um, and it's enough to feed me for the month and I always swore that I was never going to apply for assistance like I always said I was never going to apply for federal assistance for food because I grew up on it and I was so ashamed of it and I'm so ashamed of my debt but I'm done I'm breaking that cycle and as shameful as it is I kind of had to get out of the mindset of that and be like this is a temporary situation in a year you will not need this in a year you're going to have a full-time job teaching in a year you are going to be in a better place so circumstantially it sucks circumstantially I'm ashamed but today I am breaking the silence of all of that I'm putting it all out there for you guys to see because when you see my budget you're gonna see everything you're gonna see all my dirty little secrets when it comes to finances please do not write in comments oh you should not be on government aid or please do not write a comment going oh you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be doing that how can you be you should be ashamed of yourself for needing help from the government it's circumstantial and the way I see it is the way I personally see it is yeah I'm on it for this year or two but soon I'm gonna be having a full-time job and contributing back into the system so another family can have it and it actually took my it actually took convincing of my grandparents and my dad and my roommate even to be like Jess maybe you should think about applying for food stamps because you shouldn't be starving and my grandparents were trying to help me there was a couple times I would go to visit them and they would slip me a 20 and say go get yourself some groceries or they would send me home with a bag full of food and like they tried and I love them for that but you know I had to get real with some things and it was not a proud moment for me in the least but that's just kind of where I'm at now so Anyway, this has been a rambly video. I meant to only come on and introduce my channel, but I kind of gave you my debt story and kind of where I'm at now. So tomorrow when you see my budget, you won't be really taken by surprise by it. I feel like, well, you probably will because it's a very small budget. I usually have to work with about $800 plus any food stamps I have for the month. So you are definitely gonna get to see how I manage a small amount of money and hopefully we'll be paying off all this debt and getting off to a better financial start. If you are excited to see where this financial journey takes me, click the subscribe button and that way you can see how I'm doing. You can help keep me accountable because I need somebody to keep me accountable. And you can join my journey if you need to start one. Why not start now? I think no day but today, right? Start your budget, get on this journey, click the subscribe button, and I will I will see you all tomorrow for day one.